Sirach chapter 18, verse 23. Before thy prayers, prepare thyself, and be not as one that tempt the Lord. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Archai, Kodash, forgive me the spirit, to do this lesson. Now, in this lesson, we're going to go into preparing yourself before you pray. Okay, we have to be prepared when we go pray because who are we dealing with here? We're dealing with Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Shai. Let that sink in. Okay, that's why you have to prepare yourself. You're not dealing with a nigga on the street. Okay, you ain't dealing with your manager at your job. You're dealing with Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, so right there, that's a serious, serious thing, the most serious thing in existence. Okay, when you think. Okay, let's read it again. Sirach 18, verse 23. Before thy prayers, prepare thyself, and be not as one that tempt the Lord. Verse 24. Think upon the wrath that shall be at the end, and the time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. Right, and that says that right after the scripture I just read about preparing yourself, man. Okay, so this is very serious, man. All hell's about to break loose. We're in a very serious time, and this is about your salvation. Okay, so prayer has to be taken more seriously. Okay, not just rambling, you know. Now, there's times where you quickly know what you want to say. Okay, well, if you are prepared, great. Okay, but... There's other times when you really got to prepare yourself before you go to that table, man. Before you go to that seat and speak to your how about Shema was shy. All right. Got to be very careful. Okay. And I'm going to go into the scriptures on why. All right. Let's go to Sirach chapter 35, verse 17. The prayer of the humble pierced the clouds. Until it come nigh, he would not be comforted till the most high shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. Okay, let's focus on the first part. The prayer of the humble pierced the clouds. Okay, so if you consider yourself humble in this truth, okay, in this faith, then you know when you pray, your prayer is doing what? Piercing the clouds. Okay, so for your words to pierce the clouds, to go to Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, and Yahweh Shai is doing this on our behalf, then don't you think you need to prepare what you're going to say? Okay, because that's happening in real time. That's a real thing. That's a real thing, man. All right, through experience, there's times in this truth where you'll pray and it happened right away. Boom. Okay, then you see, Yahweh Shema shows you the power of prayer, man. It can happen right there. Okay, or the Lord can have it happen in a certain time frame. Okay, but the point of it happening right then and there shows you the power of prayer. It's huge, man. It's a huge thing in this truth. Okay, it has to be pushed more. Prayer has to be pushed more. Okay, because you can best believe when our hell break loose, you're going to be praying. Please, Lord, please. It says that we shall be scarcely saved. Okay, so keep that in mind. Scarcely saved. Okay, how important getting your prayers together is. Be more sharp. Okay, let's go to James chapter 1. Let's start at verse 2. Okay, to read to the point. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Okay, we know that our lives, individual lives, is on trial, man. The trial of faith. Everybody's on trial. Okay, so we're going to go through all kinds of things that we're going to pray about. Okay. Verse 3, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Verse 5, if any of you lack wisdom, okay, let's zone in on wisdom real quick. We know that wisdom is a spirit that comes from the throne, all right, and wisdom is going to bring us to the kingdom. Okay, it says the Lord loved none, but him that dwell with wisdom. So we need all the wisdom we can get. Okay? I want to point that out. Back to the scripture. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask your how about you, shy, that give it to all men liberally, and upbraid if not. Okay? Meaning, 
I ask him faith, everything's good, man. He's not going to be mad because you asked him. No, ask. Okay. It says, and upbraid if not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith. Now, when you go to pray, part of preparing yourself is faith. You have to believe. I'm going to prove this. You have to believe. Okay. So if you truly do not believe in something that you're asking the Lord about, you're wasting your time. Okay. You got to get your faith together on that particular thing that you really, you know, you're lacking faith on. Okay. That you want to ask the Lord. How are you going to ask the Lord about something that you have no faith about? Okay. Back to the scripture. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Now we know it's impossible to please him without faith. For he that waver is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Right, man. You back and forth. You unsure. I don't know you back and forth. Maybe if this, that. The Lord does not like that. Okay, so when you come to speak to your how about you, shy, you got to get that together. Okay. Now let's read why. Verse seven. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Let's read that again. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. So do you see why you got to prepare yourself? Okay, because he ain't got to listen to you, man. All right. He does not have to listen to your wavering, you know, your seed tossed to and fro and not believing. He ain't got to listen to that. He need to block that out. OK, the spirit is set in motion to block that out. OK, because Yahweh the Most High set it in motion. And through Yahweh Shah, it will be blocked out. Let's read it again. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord of Yahweh Bashim Abishai. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. OK, unstable, just like a sea going back and forth. It's unstable. Okay, it's not calmed. Okay. Let's go into 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. I read 15 through 16, 18. It says, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai concerning you. Right. Pray without ceasing. Okay, without stopping, man. Meaning what? We got to do a lot of prayer. A lot, a lot, a lot. And more and more. Okay? The more you get experience, the more you know to pray more. Okay? The more you grow in this thing, you're inward, man, the more you know to pray. Okay? So if you're praying more, and you're getting on the level of more prayer, don't you think you should be more prepared, considering even more so that you're praying a lot more? All right? You do not want to send up prayers of, of no faith. Over and over again, you just, you rambling and, and, and saying stuff, but you ain't even sure in your mind. You don't even have trust in what you're saying. Why do that? You're not prepared, man. You're not prepared. It says prepare yourself. The first scripture I read. Okay. It says prepare yourself. Okay. Let's go to Philippians chapter four, verse six. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto Yahweh Bashim Abishai. Make your request be made known unto Yahweh Bashim Abishai. So, if your request is more wisdom, I just read in James chapter 1, you ain't going to get nothing, man. If you're wavering, if you're not prepared, got to be prepared. Okay? And the peace of Yahweh, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through your house shy, right? That access, okay? One of my favorite scriptures, Romans chapter 5, verse 1 and 2, man. Goes in 2, man. Okay? We have peace with Yahweh through faith in Yahweh Shai. Therefore, we have that access to all these spiritual things. We have access to our prayers being heard. Okay? It's very, very important, man. Very, very important. Okay, to prepare yourself when you pray, get your prayers up on another level, man. Okay, let's end it on this. First John chapter five, verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him. 
Right, in Yahweh Bashem Shai, that faith. Okay, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Right, when you make your request known, made known, you believe that he hears you. Okay, you have to establish that mindset before you speak to Yahweh Bashem Shai. Very, very, very important. Like I just read a minute ago. You're not going to receive nothing if you don't get this spirit in check and in order, man. Okay? It ain't just about praying and just speaking. It's about a certain way to deal with your Haobashim Shai. Don't be simple-minded. You talking to your Haobashim Shai, man. Okay? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So with that, I hope you're edified. I'm going to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Akai, Kodash, if you give me the spirit. To do this lesson, double honor to the Elder Great Millstone, and shalom to your Akimah that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.